speedrunning, completing a video game or a level of a game as fast as possible. When most think of speedrunning, they think of video games like Mario 64, Legend of Zelda, or pretty much any other game on the internet. I'm going to tell you about a speedrun that doesn't take place in a video game. A speedrun so pointless, yet so interesting. A speedrun that really shouldn't exist on a website that's dedicated to speedrunning. Yet it does. A battle for a world record centered around nothing but baking 12 cookies as fast as humanly possible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the speedrunning history of baking 12 cookies any percent. More in the fridge. And more in the freezer downstairs. And more in the freezer downstairs. Let me lay out the run. To complete the run, you must bake 12 cookies that are at least 3 inches in diameter. You must use standard ingredients for baking cookies or the run won't count. Those being flour, sugar, brown sugar, salt, baking soda, eggs, butter, vanilla extract, and chocolate chips. You aren't allowed to use any electrical mixing appliances or convection ovens. You are allowed to have the materials for the cookies already out and opened, but they must be in their packaging before the start of the run. You can read the rest of the rules if you'd like, but that's the gist of it. Now let's get into this. We all know the basics of making cookies, but for this video, we'll split the process into a couple of key parts in the recipe for baking cookies. Those being butter, wet ingredients, dry ingredients, putting dough onto trays, and baking. Some parts of the run can be flipped around like wet ingredients and dry ingredients, but every run includes these sections in some way or another. The first run was completed on December 5th, 2016, with a time of 19 minutes and 31 seconds, by the runner known as 7E6I. And his strategy was pretty simple. He first put two sticks of butter in a pan and put it over low heat. This would allow the butter to melt while he was mixing his wet ingredients. After he put the butter on the stove to melt, he started mixing his wet ingredients. Now, you might have already noticed, he's making his wet ingredients first. Normally in a standard cookie recipe, uh, you start with dry ingredients. While I wasn't able to get an explanation from 76i himself, I believe it was because of one reason. The butter he was cooking over a stove would burn if he left it on for too long. So he decided to start with wet ingredients first to prevent the chance of overcooking his butter. I don't believe this slowed him down much or at all, just something to note. But that didn't mean there weren't any slowdowns though. He added extra ingredients into his cookies which was non-optimal, and along with that, he didn't have several measuring tools out which also slowed him down even more at times. Overall, finishing his wet ingredients at 425. While the wet ingredients had slowdowns, he managed to breeze through the dry ingredients and the chocolate chips with no major slowdowns, taking less than 3 minutes for the dry ingredients, making his current time sit at 7 minutes. Now, for the final two sections of the run. He had to place the cookie batter onto the trays. While making a small mistake, he made it through rather efficiently, taking around a minute to put the cookies on the tray and put them in the oven. Now he just needed to wait until the cookies were finished. Then, after they were pulled out of the oven, and the time ended, with his final time being 1931. While not being that bad overall, there was much improvement to be desired. 76i made several mistakes throughout the cookie making process. This meant there's plenty of time left to save. Someone would just need to do it. Well, two days later, on December 7th, 2016, 76i would do it again. Saving not just a couple of seconds, not just a minute, but almost four whole minutes over his last time. How, you ask? Well, it was pretty simple. He fixed a lot of mistakes he made in his first run, that being having the tools he forgot to get previously already out, and along with that, being much more efficient overall with things like preparing the butter and mixing ingredients. The efficiency of his cookie making process was incredible. He finished with the wet ingredients in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, almost 2 whole minutes ahead of his previous time. Not only that, his dry ingredients were just as fast, finishing the dough in just under 4 minutes. Now, all that was left was to put the dough onto trays and bake. The final time ended at 15.12. This was far ahead of its time. 76 size run would stand strong, as multiple runners came along in an attempt to beat it. But the run was a titan, a cookie-producing masterpiece, not solely based on quality, 
but on lightning speed, a whirlwind of flour, sugar, and butter. He set the kitchen ablaze at its rapid pace, a run that would take another skilled cookie master to beat. Their skills would truly be tested, as they would need to attempt to match the breakneck tempo of 76 size run. Would anyone ever do it? Well. On April 26, 2021, a runner would come to challenge the record, and he was willing to stop at nothing to beat it. A runner by the name of Frogadire 830. A runner by the name of Frogadire 830 would submit a run that would crush the record. Crush 76 size speed run by an entire minute. How did he do it? What strategies did he use to beat 76 size run? Well, let's find out. The first major improvement was simple, yet incredibly effective. Instead of using a pan to melt the butter, Frogger Dyer 830 opted to use a microwave, which would save an absurd amount of time, not only because he didn't have to worry as much about overcooking, but it also took far less time to set up and melt, saving an absurd amount of time. Almost 30 full seconds on the wet ingredients. His dry ingredients were a bit shaky, however, finishing at around 350, setting him around 10 seconds ahead of the world record. So you might be asking, how did he save nearly an entire minute? Well, he decided to attempt a risky strategy that no other runner had dared to attempt yet. He decided he was going to turn up the temperature in the oven. This was a risky strategy, to put it lightly. If overcooked, or if the dough didn't spread out to three inches while baking, the run would not count at all. While acknowledging the risks, Frogadire 830 decided to take that risk for the potential time save and bake them at a higher temperature. Here's how it went. While Frogadire 830's cookies were slightly overcooked, the strategy worked. Frogadire 830 had successfully cooked the cookies at a high enough temperature to save an entire minute over 76 eyes run. While his fire alarm did go off during the run, it wouldn't matter. Frogadire 830 had done it. He now held the world record. While being a slightly controversial run, his run would go down in history as one of the greatest runs in Baking 12 Cookies Any% percent history. After Frogadire 830's run, the leaderboard would unfortunately go stagnant. A run many were too scared to attempt. A run that would require an absurd amount of baking skills. A run that would shake the speed baking community if ever done. A run that would need a true speed baking master. It would take almost an entire year of attempts to beat this run, but when a runner finally came along, it would be arguably one of the greatest baking speedrunners to ever attempt this run. A runner by the name of Speedwalker. Speedwalker would submit a run that claimed to be the record, but as you can see by the title, the run was rejected. This run, while being impressive, was ultimately rejected because two people making cookies at the same time was just simply unfair and not with the rules of the run. But this run would be a practice attempt for later that day. But this time only with Speedwalker's sister. One, go! Oh, 
They crushed the record. The run would save an entire minute off Frogadire 830's legendary record. Along with that, they didn't use high temperature oven baking strategy. This meant no risk of overcooked cookies. This was an incredible development, as some believed that the only way to improve this run would be through high temperature oven baking strategies. But instead, they optimized every aspect of putting the cookies together. The movement was incredible. While making very, very few minor mistakes, they had heavily optimized this route. It was clear that they had put serious practice into this. This incredible dough making process put them almost 40 seconds ahead of the record. Once the cookie dough was made, they used one final optimization to guarantee the record was theirs. A cookie dough scooper. This tool would make scooping dough beyond easy. Not only that, it would place the dough in a more spread out way, which would reduce cooking time drastically. This final optimization would set them far ahead of the previous record. After that, all they needed to do was bake. The final time would come out to 12.48, the current standing world record as of April 13th, 2024, the fastest time anyone has baked 12 cookies. I have no doubts this, in this record will inevitably be broken, but for now, as Summoning Salt once said, we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. See you next week.